Hallo und willkommen zum ersten Teil meines Let's Plays von The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, einem Horror Point and Click Adventure von Cloak and Dagger Games, herausgegeben von Wadget Eye. Das Video stammt aus einer Streaming Session auf Twitch, daher nehme ich meist mehrere Folgen am Stück auf und schneide Pausen heraus. Außerdem füge ich Kapitelmarker hinzu, diese findet ihr unten in der Beschreibung und in der Abspielleiste. Wir spielen das Spiel auf Englisch mit Untertiteln. Ich freue mich auf eure Fragen und Hinweise in den Kommentaren und wünsche gruselige Unterhaltung. Ich wünsche einen schönen guten Abend und willkommen zurück zu einem, ja, einem, wie soll man sagen, einem Point- und Klick-Titel, den ich noch überhaupt gar nicht kenne. Nämlich The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Ich weiß nur, dass es ein Watchet Eye Titel ist. Das ist eine, ein, eigentlich ein Mensch, glaube ich. <lacht> ein einzelner Mensch, der ähm, diverse gute Point and Click Adventures selbst programmiert hat, beziehungsweise in diesem Fall für andere herausgibt. Das Spiel ist von Cloak and Decker Games und der Publisher ist Watchet Eye. Und wie man sieht, ist es eine Retro Pixel Adventure. So, offensichtlich handelt es sich um ein Horror. Ähm, Retro Pixel Adventure, Point und Click, soweit ich das weiß, aber mehr weiß ich auch nicht. Deswegen spielen wir das hier ganz klassisch mit der Maus. Das Spiel ist ähm, auch nicht auf Deutsch, sondern das ist auf Englisch. Das unterscheidet die Spiele, die ich hier eigentlich auf diesem Kanal sonst spiele, ähm, weil ich ja meistens ein deutschsprachige Spiele spiele. Da gibt es aber auch nicht mal deutsche Untertitel. Es ist aber offensichtlich vertont. Von daher probieren wir das jetzt mal aus. Es ist ein Test. Ähm, und wir werden es sicherlich nicht durchspielen heute. Aber ich gehe mal davon aus. Oh, ich gehe mal davon aus, es. Ähm, ja. Wir kriegen zumindest einen Eindruck, wie es sein sollte. Ich versuche hier mal den, das Audio ein bisschen einzupegeln, wenn ähm, es nicht gut zu hören sein sollte und jemand zuhören möchte, dann müsste man das mal äh, mitteilen, aber ich hoffe, ich höre es, also ich höre es, ich hoffe, man hört es auch zu Hause. Und dann schauen wir mal rein bei The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Dann erstmal so ein bisschen Sherlock Holmes Stimmung. Das habe ich ja hier schon mal als Let's Play gemacht. Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite... Das Audio noch mal ein bisschen... Terrible weather this evening. Hochziehen. Is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. We'll catch your death out here. Okay. Da hatten wir jetzt gar keine Einflussmöglichkeit. Dearest Mother. I hope this letter will reach you. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. Thank you. 
I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. Okay, Anweisungen. Links klicken, um zu laufen und Interaktionen zu machen. Rechts klicken, um zu untersuchen. Um das Inventar zu öffnen und das Menü bewege man die Maus an, die, an den oberen Rand des Bildschirms. Wenn man klickt links im Inventar, um etwas auszuwählen, rechts, um es zu untersuchen. Ähm, wenn ein Inventar-Item ausgewählt ist, kann man rechts klicken, um es wieder nicht auszuwählen. Was auch immer das Gegenteil von auswählen, entwählen. Ähm, man kann doppelklicken auf einen Ausgang, um zu teleportieren. Das Game wird hin und wieder automatisch gespeichert und man kann immer im Menü speichern. Escape ist das Menü, M ist die Karte, wenn es eine gibt, 5, F5 und F7 ist Quick Save und Quick Load. Ja, F5 sollte man vielleicht benutzen. Spacebar zeigt interaktiv, interaktive Hotspots. Das haben wir verstanden. Game gespeichert. Das sind die Tracks. Die Tracks look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. So, ah ja, ich sehe schon. Dann haben wir so ein lustiges Menü oben klicken. Wir haben Briefe, ein Hand, äh, ein Handtuch, sage ich schon, nein, ein Taschentuch und Geld. Und dann gucken wir nach, eine To-Do-Liste hebt es hoch. I've been invited to Bewley by a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. He proposes an excavation of Hobbs Barrow, a local burying mount. Okay, also wir sollen einen Friedhof ausgraben. Das ist ja immer eine... Schwierige Sache. I can't quite recall the name of our meeting place. It's written in a letter Mr. Shoulder sent me. Okay, das bedeutet, wenn wir den dabei haben, da ist alles. Miss, wir Miss Bateman. I write this letter in the hope of picking your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows and if I understand correctly, you are writing a book on them and the treasures they contain. I live in the village of Bewley where a most special barrel can be found on the outskirts. It is rectangular in form and is certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped in local legend and there is rumor of secrets to be found deep within. I hope you will not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and excavate the barrow, I will be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the plow and furrow in Bewley. I shall await your letter. Yours respectfully, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Dear Miss Bateman, marvelous news. I shall meet you at 8 o'clock in the evening on the 14th of this new month at the Plow and Buffalo in Bewley. Ah, wir treffen uns also im Inn. The Inn has fine rooms which you will find adequate for your short stay. When we meet, I shall tell you more, tell you more of the circumstances surrounding a site which is referred to locally as Hobbs Barrow. It is not located on my own land, but we will have no issue gaining permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. I must make my way to the plow and furrow inn. That's the sowieso. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. And that's true. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for the plow and furrow inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady. Leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the market square. The inn is to the side at square. Thank you very much. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. 
Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. Shh. Yeah, that is wish. Really? I have great expectations for this barrow. A door of fine construction. Hello? Hello? Hello there? It will you mind. What brings you to Beulah? I beg your pardon? What brings you to Beulah, Miss? Just a bit of sightseeing. Hmm. We don't get many of your type out here. My type? City folks. Curious young ladies. Not much to be seen in Beulah, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. That was odd. Wir sollen also diese Wand entlang laufen. Oh. Achso, ja, wir können die Leertaste drücken. Dann sehen wir alles, was wir so machen können. Es gibt zwei Türen, aber ich würde sagen, wir sollen zum Marktplatz, dann gehen wir zum Marktplatz. Ja. Art Bucket. Noch eine Tür. Und das Local Cobbler. Wohl ein. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. The building is in a dilapidated state. Quite a fine building indeed. Plow and furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. The man looks thoroughly inebriated. I glaube, das heißt, dass er ein bisschen getrunken hat. Hello there. What's the young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? I'm heading to the plough and furrow. Bloody good pub, that's it. It has the finest ales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Please. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you? Wouldn't your wife disapprove? My wife? Bloody hell, my wife! My tea will be on the table at this hour, and if I don't get back, she'll be roaring. Until we meet again. What a buffoon. Haben wir ja noch mal Glück gehabt. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Das klingt nach einer guten Idee. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, it is not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Oh, dann geben wir ihm doch das Geld, oder nicht? This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Bewley tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. 
Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. Good afternoon. Afternoon, Miss Bateman. How can I help you? Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. Bye for now. As you were. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. <laughs> a majestic animal cut down in his prime. This shall do nicely. Time to change into something more comfortable. Ah, much better. A jug of water for drinking or washing. An empty bowl has been provided for washing. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. This may come in handy. Hmm. I feel relatively clean. Perhaps I could use this water for something else. Okay. The wardrobe looks old, perhaps a hundred years or more in age. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. I've stored my case in there, a box within a box. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. There's only one match left, though. As the only light source in the room, jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. I don't wish to take it. A decorative plate depicting a goat. Hmm. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. Perhaps a local landmark. Good. Gibt's noch irgendwas Spannendes? Was ich übersehen haben könnte? Scheinbar nicht. Dann gehen wir noch wieder runter, ne? A rather miserable looking fellow. He's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. That's Kenny. They are engaged in an intense discussion. A fine exemplar of inebriation. It's a crudely painted scene that appears to be of a biblical nature. Prices are cheap here. Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kim. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate. Most adequate. Excellent. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. Tell me about yourself, Mr Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up me coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Has Mr. Shoulder arrived yet? Still haven't seen head nor tail of him, Miss Bateman. 
What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with Lord Leonard then? Well, if you must know, I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I? You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find, then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley, a site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The more stretch further than the eyes can see would you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a Barrow digger too, eh? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. Thanks for your time. As you were. Ah, okay. Also schon mal eigenartig, dass offensichtlich hier die Ansässigen nicht wissen, was das ist. Dieses Hobbs Barrow. A pixie-faced peasant boy, painted in a naive style. Und dass Mr. Shoulder nicht hier ist. Ähm, die Frage ist allerdings auch, was sollen wir jetzt machen? Wir können natürlich hier auf die To-Do-Liste gucken. Da steht auch nur, dass wir ihn treffen sollen. Und hier steht, Has some time to spend, it's a fine opportunity to converse with the locals. Okay, dann quatschen wir also hier ein bisschen mit den Menschen. Good afternoon, sir. No for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's no for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Hmm. Alles. This painting shows a Rubenesque figure brushing her hair. Quite unusual to see such a sensual work in a room like this. A colorful work depicting a bashful knight. It is signed N. Hamley. Hmm. Irgendwas habe ich offensichtlich. Hello, sir. Hi. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley's going to dogs. My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are... None of your business, lass. Where's your husband? None of your business, sir. Ha! You're brave coming in here, all on your own. I'm a grown woman. 
I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. Also sind alle sehr unfreundlich, bis auf denjenigen, der der Geld mit verdient, dass er freundlich ist. I take it you are not enamored with the railway station. We're always going to be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Why not? This is our town, our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? <laughs> what can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. Bye for now. ta -da, lass. Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. Ja, das stimmt. Where on earth is he? What a waste of time this is turning out to be. <laughs> Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I got home, had my tea, but it gave me an aching belly. How so? I felt bad for how I spoke to you. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. One ale, coming right up. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Then I'll tell you all about old Leonard Shoulder. It's Mr. Stanley Kemp. He has the serious and worn-out facial expression of a man who deals with drunkards on a nightly basis. How can I help you? A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. There we are. Two pence, please. Thank you. This was the last of my money. Ooh. Kenneth will be here tomorrow with more funds. And then we'll hoffen, dass das. Here you are, Arthur. Thanking you. Oh, that hits the spot, that does, lass. Now then. Old Len. Leonard Shaw. <laughs> Arthur? Mr. Tillett? Oh, for heaven's sake. The man is in a drunken stupor. Mr. Tillett? He's not dead, just very drunk. I would still like to hear what he has to say about Mr. Shoulder. After one drink too many, Arthur Tillett has passed out. Dann würde ich ja mal sagen, vielleicht benutzen wir das Wasser, das wir haben. Was? Oh, what the hell was that for? You passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. Where were I? Leonard Shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. This man is unbelievable. Wahrscheinlich schläft er da jetzt auch ein. It 
feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. Miss Bateman? My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. You'll have to use the gents. <laughs> Lovely. Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? He is not. Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Hmm. Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. The water looks highly questionable. They ought to keep... The door opens a crack, but appears to be blocked from the other side. I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett? Arthur, are you out there? Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. A cold draft is leaking in from under the door. This leads outside. The door is blocked from the outside. I should go out and take a look. Hmm. I can't reach the window from down here. That's how I should muss man auch noch rausgehen. Excuse me, sir. A pearly white gent's glove. It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. Seems rather out of place here. Peculiar. Hmm. Someone has wedged the door shut. Mr. Tillett. Why would he have done that? Did Mr. Tillett leave them? Lock the door behind him. Something strange is going on here. Who was that old chap I saw outside the alley? He headed eastward. Maybe I could catch up with him and ask him if he saw Mr. Tillett. Sturdy looking barrels, no doubt used to store ale. The post has been embellished with a fine bronze bust of a horse. Sir? Es wird immer dunkler. The old man has disappeared into the darkness. I'd best turn back to the inn. Last orders. I should get some sleep. Finding the missing men of Bewley shall have to wait for tomorrow. How can I help you? Have you seen Arthur Tillett? I thought he were with you. He went to the lavatory and has not returned. <laughs> that sounds like Arthur Tillett. Don't worry, lass. He'll be back. Thanks for your time. As you were. Hmm. Also, alle Menschen, mit denen wir hier sprechen wollen, um uns zu erzählen, warum wir eigentlich hier sind, verschwinden. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. She gets some sleep.
Hmm. Go to bed or not go to bed? Hello. A lovely place to warm oneself. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. Hmm. The painting depicts a rocky edge lake. A small bronze plate states the name Lake Cubilius. Hmm. A decorative plate depicting a bear. A decorative plate, this one depicts a dog. A decorative plate depicting an eagle. A decorative plate, this one depicts a bull. A decorative plate depicting a serpent. A decorative plate. This one depicts a cat. A fine exemplar of inebriation. Good evening, sir. Nope. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday to get some sleep. Yes, I must get some sleep. I shall track down Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. Miss Bateman? Yes? Off to bed? Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulder's let me down. A rotter. Perhaps he will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Bewley. Quite. They mean well, believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. Please, call me Stanley. Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman. Such horrid dreams. Bolted from the inside, just as I left it last night. Hmm. <laughs> as I suspected, I must have dreamt of that wretched looking cat. I must say I'm relieved. Right then. Let's see if I can track down the elusive Leonard's shoulder. I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow. I also wonder what happened to Mr. Tillett. Ja, das ist doch eine große Sammlung von Fragen mit wenig Antworten. Blick auf die Uhr bzw. auf die abgelaufene Zeit. Ähm, würde empfehlen, dass ähm, wir sagen, das ist eine Folge, wenn ich das noch weiter spiele. Ich finde das tatsächlich ganz spannend gemacht. Es ist ein ganz klassisches äh, Point and Click Adventure. Ähm, aber ich finde es sehr stimmungsvoll, muss ich sagen. Und ich bin jetzt in der Tat ein bisschen interessiert, was denn jetzt da passieren kann. Ähm. Ja, aber ich würde heute für heute erstmal diese Spielsitzung beenden. Und dann schauen wir mal, ob ich das äh, im Stream weiterspiele oder ob ich das einfach so weiterspiele. Wir werden das erleben. Ähm, ja, von daher im Zweifel bis zur nächsten Folge. Herzlichen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Lasst gern eure Meinung zum Video in den Kommentaren da oder klickt die entsprechenden Buttons. Meine ganzen Let's Plays gibt es auch als Playlisten auf YouTube oder Peertube, wo ihr mir gerne folgen könnt. Die Links gibt es unten in der Beschreibung. Bis denn dann!